Hey, well, we're World Entertainment, and the first reactions for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 have come online, and they're calling this thing phenomenal. The best action movie of the summer, the best Mission Impossible movie, you name it. it seems to be all pretty positive. There's a few gripes here and there, but that's to be expected with certain things, nothing major so let's say we have a look at some of these reactions because let's face it this is probably the one movie everyone's waiting to see so we'll have a look at them so eric davies right i had the absolute best time watching mission impossible an impeccably made action film that does not stop entertaining each action sequence is long, crazy, and intense. The story is big and sprawling, but I like how it both felt complete and left you dying for what comes next. That's interesting that it, it feels like a completed story. And that was one of the criticisms with Dune Part 1 was where the movie ended, that it basically just ends. <laughs> so people were expecting more and it just ended so it sounds interesting and a bit better that it feels complete even though we know there's a, another part Jeff Snyder writes Mission Impossible 7 is very good and he writes very in big bold writing though it lacks the emotion that made Maverick great I don't really know why you're comparing it to Maverick but okay uh, the climactic train sequence is awesome and the entire cast rules from my man Tom Cruise to the great Shia Wingman um, there are two minor issues villain backstory and Ethan's rushed bond with Grace I'm assuming Grace is Hayley Atwell's character Perry Nemiroff uh, writes Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is another winner for the franchise yet again the production value is through the roof with some of the most well defined and exhilarating set pieces photographed in ways that truly make you feel like you're in the middle of the action the emphasis on capturing things in camera makes a huge difference and you can feel it also really dug the mission this time round and how the technology uh, thereafter factors into the character's individual arcs. So that's interesting. Uh, Barry Hurts. Sorry, Barry. What you heard for, man? No, that's his name. <laughs> uh, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Tom Cruise hates streaming so much he made an algorithm the villain. And bless his crazy ass because this is a behemoth size spectacle. One go for broke set piece after the next. Close to fallout excellence. Henry, how do you pronounce this second name? Crazy? I have no idea how you pronounce his second name. Uh, fans will go nuts. How do you pronounce that second name? Searney? I have no idea. Or Sanry. Henry Sanry. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm probably butchering this poor dude's name. When I first saw it, I thought it was meant to say Henry Cavill. I was like, what? Scott Mance writes, Finally here and worth the wait. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is absolutely fantastic and the best mission yet. Great story, awesome cast, incredible action, that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Tom Cruise has topped himself with the best action movie of the summer. Uh, Jermaine Lucer. I probably butchered his name. Dead Reckoning Part 1 is fantastic. Dynamite, timely story. This seems to be something about the technology is AI or something. 
Dynamite, timely story, excellent new characters, a huge variety of action and a final set piece that ranks top two to three all time for the franchise. It gets a little dense at times, but its pace and intensity more than cover that. Joseph, I'm not even going to pronounce, try and pronounce your second name, writes uh, Dead Reckoning, um, this phenomenal, I think it's supposed to say is phenomenal, but he wrote this. Hayley Atwell steals every scene she's in. Uh, this is how my, oh, sorry, this is now my favourite Mission Impossible film. With the AI being the villain, this feels like a, a cautionary tale. The action had my heart rate elevated. The train scene is mind-blowing. And we'll check out one more from Mike Ryan that says, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 works as Christopher McQuarrie's ambitious examination of uh, meditation on AI and the dangers or the dangerous path we might be on he doesn't like it with the inherent nature of being part one said that a lot lately uh, not as satisfying as fallout so th this one enjoys it likes it finds uh, the idea of the AI technology and it being a compelling story but he didn't like it as much as Fallout, which is interesting. So there you go. There, there, there's, there is a bunch more, but we'll leave it for that one. But uh, yeah, so seems to be very positive. And just to note as well, Christopher McQuarrie has hinted that Fallout, or not Fallout, Dead Reckoning Part Two will not be the end of this franchise and Ethan Hunt's missions that he's already talking about a Mission Impossible 9 well already then <laughs> bring it on why not but who's not looking forward to this movie I think we're all looking forward to this movie bring it on so with that I'll leave it there for this one so cheers and I'll catch you in the next one Good luck, Ethan. This message will self-destruct in five seconds.